iban a morir hoy. Like a cat onto that train. Magnificent. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vámonos. Quick, brother. We don't have much time. Come on, my friend. Get the hatch open.
Dinero! This is a great day for the revolution! <laughs> Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are holed up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh, my spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. Cuando te vea la próxima vez, que sea un poco más durito, ¿eh? <laughs> And I mean rougher, ¿eh? <laughs> What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada. Uh, all right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was increíble. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. <laughs> she thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. Don't you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! <laughs> marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings. Other great men, the very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer, 
Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que Dios la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother. I huh? guess the man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> come on, mi hermano. This is the day we have both been waiting for. Let's ride, my brothers! My brother, I just received word of your fight with Allende's men in El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. But why did you not kill him yourself when my men gave you the chance? I could see they wanted it more than I did. The Santa had given me what I needed, or I thought he had. A lot of young boys will sleep safer in their beds now. Santa was only following orders. He was dumb and loyal to his awful master, but that's all he was. Where are they, Abraham? They are at El Presidio, John. Can you believe it? The place we first met. The scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take El Presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. Escuela will do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You see? You should have trusted your brother, Abraham, all along. When we have him, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. I knew I had heard the name Javier Escuella before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious urges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Squela was always a torn man. Cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, Joe, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course. But then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right now. The Dutch started falling apart and hit Javier harder than any of them. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he'd ever believed in turned out to be a frog. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fondness. We was close once. But he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die. We had a chance to save him. And didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember Cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that Cabron a surprise visit. I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williams. Another loyal supporter of free Mexico. What? You want a name? You can't even remember the name of the girl you're married. Have you ever known Power Junk? I'm a semi-literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then you will never have the knowledge that any woman will bear your child. Yet for her, it will be an honor. I've known about enough bastards without making too many more of my own. A man like me cannot be with just one woman. It would be an injustice to the people I have devoted my life to serve. You have an interesting way of serving the people. Kind of like a national jiggler. I owe it to the future of Mexico to breed, my brother. If I can get noble blood flowing through the veins of peasants, can you imagine how great this country can be? An army of reyes, of kings, 
I wish I'd never asked. Have you enjoy your time in Mexico, John? It ain't exactly been a vacation. Why are you talking like this is already over? I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. I know what you Americans call us. Greasers, sun greeners, pepper guts. For a land of immigrants, you don't like foreigners very much. I don't care who a man is, what he does or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. It's that simple for you, isn't it? You would make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. You have all the makings of a great leader, Abraham. The revolution is gaining momentum. Do you have any idea how many times I've thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion? I think I have some idea. Soon it will be me sleeping on those silk sheets and the colonel lying with the cucarachas. From what I've seen of Allende, you might want to wash those sheets. <laughs> you might be right, my friend. Do you really think a revolution can work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, John. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. The poor are many and together we are strong. They are ready to fight. If it does work... It will. If it does work, and you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life! But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself. All right, when Mexico's yours, and you have all the power you desire, what will you do with it? Like any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. I have to say, I'm not usually in favor of American interference. But it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home, work my land, and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me, too. But I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. Oh, I think I got a few more left in me. Maybe one day you can return to Mexico like Lando Enrique. A famous outlaw comes to die in the sunshine. I can always use a cynical American renegade on my staff. I'll bear that in mind. Let us just enjoy the silence, John. It is so rare that we have it. Just up ahead. Prepárate, mi hermano. This is our time. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. He's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I'll see you in there, amigo. Go on, John. You can do this.
Bring the school I young! Leave the army to us! Friend, it's been a long time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy, and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa. you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you, even now. You don't have the heart to kill me.
Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Come. The army is Sigue coming. Me. Get up there and man that cannon. Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. Well, it is a pleasant surprise, I must say. He's not looking very healthy. We told you to keep them alive. You should be glad to have him at all. Just remember your obligations to the government, Mr. Marston. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater, as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that uh, Dutch Vandalind is in the area. Your wife sends her regards. 